Famous music company? Uh, this is Kirk of the Morning Star. Yeah. Uh, I want you to do a favor for me. Did a Dr. Tyndall make any kind of a purchase from you prior to October 6th? Yeah. Well, thanks ever so much. I'll wait. Copy ready, Mr. Kirk. Come back later. Oh, he did. Oh, uh, much obliged. Hey, Garvey! What's the matter? Did you find your foot? If there's only a second, what does it matter? She didn't start to play the piano until after I left. Mac, I want to show you something. Doctor? Mrs. Ward and Dr. Goodman knew your wife was a pianist, and she spent hours every day practicing. So you laid your plans accordingly. The day you strangled your wife, you bought a player piano attachment from the famous music company. When it's in place, it's hardly noticeable. But you fixed yourself up a special roll by attaching an extra length of blank paper at the beginning of the roll, you gave yourself an additional 30 seconds before the music started to play. Now then, first you strangle your wife, then you put the music roll in the piano, then you press the key, and you quickly left the apartment. Now, outside in the hallway, you meet Mrs. Ward and Dr. Goodman, but the music hasn't started to play yet because of the additional paper at the beginning of the roll. Now then, uh, Mrs. Ward asks you, how's your wife? You say she's got a headache, and you chat for a moment, and the music starts. Okay, you what? Mrs. Ward and Dr. Goodman heard it, and they thought exactly what you wanted them to think. That at that very moment, your wife had started to play the piano. That makes sense, Mac? It certainly does. Dobby! Oh, yeah, you know. Well, Doc, looks like you get to that execution after all. Brown, call the warden. Tell him to hold everything that he hears from the governor. Okay. Now you call the governor, ask him to grant a stay of execution. Right. See if you can chew your way out of this. Take him down, Dovey. Do you want me anymore, Mac? No, I forgot it, Julia. You're a pretty bad shot. I'm glad. It... Warden's going to hold up the execution until he hears from the governor. The governor says he'd grant the stay. He wants you to call him back. Right. Good night, mate. Good night, Sally. Well, if there's nothing more that I can do, I'll... Good night. Uh, good night. Okay, Brownie. I'll make out your report and get yourself some sleep. I'll always be grateful to you. I don't know what I'd have done without you. From now on, you'll have to worry about what you're going to do with him. What are you talking about? He's tops, Miss Marlin, and he'll hand you a lot of laughs. But don't make the mistake of marrying him. Oh. Since when have you got to do John Alden for me? Well, I never thought... Oh, I'm so sorry. I've been so upset, it never occurred to me that you... Well, you see, I... I'm engaged. Engaged? Oh. Well, you saw his picture. Oh, did I? Yes, he's a lieutenant in the Navy. Oh, you mean the... the fellow on the piano with his stripes on his arm? Yeah. He's a nice-looking guy. You look, you better run along home and get a little sleep. We'll iron everything out, and uh, maybe you can see your brother tomorrow. Thank you for everything. Oh, that's all right. Thank you, too, Captain McKinley. It's a pleasure. Al, will you see that Miss Vera gets home all right? You bet I will. You. You're very sweet. You certainly are very sweet. Ah, oh, shut up! <laughs> well, that's that. You know, I think I'll go over and have breakfast with Daisy. Her husband mightn't like it. Her husband? Sure, didn't you get the announcement? She was married last Tuesday morning. Oh, she walked out on me, eh? Well, just to show her there's no hard feelings, we'll buy her a wedding present. That's swell. What are we going to use for money? Well, you got that check you got from Doc Tyndall. No, I tore it up. Well, that's different. You what? I tore it up. I don't need money bad enough to take it from a guy like that. Mac, you're a big man. I wonder if you could get the warden to do me a favor. Why not? What do you want? Well, maybe he can fix it with the governor, so that when Tyndall goes to the electric chair, you can sit in his lap. 